In this session, we will analyze topography in Grasshopper using the Docofoser and Bison plugins. Using Bison, we will compute the flow and aspect of the topography. As an overview, we're going to import the terrain with Docofoser as an ASCII XYZ point cloud. We'll shift the grid to the origin of the scene, um, compute a mesh over the grid, and we'll use that grid <clears throat> as the input for uh, analysis in Bison. It's more computationally efficient than Bison's um, import terrain mesh module. Before we put it into the flow, we'll filter um, the values to make a lower resolution mesh and get a simpler, simpler flow lines over this um, very high resolution topography captured by drone. Then we'll put um, compute the bounding box and simulate flow. Um, and we'll put the mesh into aspect as well. So the plugins, uh, Docofoser is available on Food for Rhino, and Bison is available at bison.la. So in Grasshopper, let's start a new document. And in Docofoser, I'm going to start by going to the I.O. panel and adding import XYZ. I'm going to add the file as my input for this, so file path. And I'll set my file path to uh, an XYZ point cloud, exported from GIS in this case. Before I visualize the mesh here, I'm going to go to the grid panel and pick grid shift to move this from geographic coordinates to the local coordinate system origin. And then I'll visualize this as a grid mesh, as a mesh from the grid. There's my preview. I'm going to add a custom preview to this now so I can see it better. I'm going to add a custom material, uh, a custom, sorry, a color swatch. And we have a preview of our terrain. I'm going to go ahead and group this and label it import XYZ point cloud. Now, with Bison installed, I'm going to begin with the analysis tools. Here are the mesh import tools. So you could import a mesh DM here from a TIFF file. It will be a lot less efficient than using Docofoser, however. So I'm going to go here to analysis, and I'm going to start by picking flow. Today we're going to look at flow and aspect. There are many other analysis tools available here. Rather than putting in the full resolution mesh, we want to send a subsampled um, point cloud um, as, a, as our mesh. So I'm going to go back to Docofoser and use a grid filter to reduce the resolution of my input. I'm going to take um, the shifted grid here as a Docofoser grid and plug that in to the grid filter. I will hide the wires and add a panel 
or a number slider to specify the resolution. Add a number slider here. I'm going to call this resolution. And I'm going to set it to integer. I'll make the max 10, and I'm going to set my initial value to 10 as well. I'm going to plug that in as my um, min value. Um, then I need to convert this to a grid again. But I want to visualize the terrain as the full resolution grid here. So I'm going to make this lower resolution mesh at 10 times lower resolution. That'll be one meter instead of 10 centimeters. And I'm going to plug this in as the mesh. I also need a boundary surface. So from the grid mesh, I'm going to uh, find the bounding rectangle. Plug the mesh in as the geometry and bounding in as the boundary here. To finish this, we need the parameters for the grid spacing, um, the steps, and the length of each step. So I'm going to place panels. I'm going to make my grid spacing one. I'm going to make my steps 20. And my length, I believe, um, 0 0.5. And there is my flow lines showing how water may flow across the topography. If we lower, if we increase the resolution um, going to towards one, this will become a lot noisier looking at the micro topography. I'm going to go ahead and group this and label it compute flow lines. Finally, we're going to add aspect. So I'm going to go to the Bison plugin panel. I'm going to look at analysis and pick aspect this time. For the aspect, we may use the full resolution mesh. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the wire input to this and connect my grid mesh as the input. I'll give it a second to compute. And then I'll want to hide the custom preview of the mesh so that we can see the aspect. The aspect is helpful, showing us um, a visualization of relief, among other things. We want to put um, an angle parameter here so that we can control the angle. We also want to visualize a legend here. So I'm going to place the legend command. And I'm going to connect color to color and tag to tags. We're seeing the right color table. When we put an angle in here, we will see the tags. So I'm going to place, I'm going to go to parameters, and I'm going to place a control knob. I'll double click on my control knob. I'm going to set the maximum to 360. And um, range to 360 value to 270. 
decimals to zero. And I'll go ahead and plug this in as my angle. It's going to recompute the aspect from 270 degrees. We see the updated aspect and I will then group this, select it all, control G and label it by right clicking on the group aspect. There are some more analysis we could do in here with Bison. Um, in another session, we'll look at more sophisticated analysis in GIS um, from this data.